We, we read in Acts that when Paul was in Corinth, things weren't going well. People were rejecting the truth. People were beating those that proclaimed the gospel. And do you remember what God said to Paul? God said, Paul, don't you quit because I have many people in this city. And I'm sure Paul's thinking, really? Because I haven't met any of them yet, Lord. All I've met are these broken, cruel, wicked people. But you're saying you've got many people here. And Paul stayed 18 months and God took those cruel, wicked, broken people and he started to build a church with them. People that most would have looked at and they would have saw the, the, the rejects. Most would have looked at and said, this is the last place that you go to plant a church, Paul. Many people that they would have looked at and said, these people are so immoral. They are so full of debauchery. They can never put together a church. Paul, you'll never be able to raise up leaders who will be able to lead this church. But God said, Paul, don't you quit because I have people here. And when God looked at Corinth, what he saw were the raw materials that he needed to build his church. God saw something in Corinth. He said, Paul, don't you quit because the materials I need to build this church are right here. This reminds me of a, a temple that I saw recently in a story. The Wat Pa Maha Chedi Ka Temple in Thailand was built out of one million beer bottles. Throughout the temple, there are decorative mosaics constructed from the beer bottle lids. The mixture of the brown and green bottles allow the incorporation of intricate patterns in the walls. The monks who built the temple wish to highlight the wasteful nature of consumption and the possibility of reclaiming beauty from rubbish. What most people would have seen as trash on the side of the road or garbage to be disposed of or perhaps at best something to be recycled, they saw an opportunity for beauty in the midst of rubbish. Now because the glass isn't great for building structures, the core of this building and the weight and structure of this building is resting on cement. But the glass is what we see. The people in Corinth had been saved from their brokenness and their sin, and God was using the trash and the rubbish of Corinth to build His church. And Paul says, Christ is the foundation, and He provides the structure. He carries the weight, but God is building His church through us and of us. 